Hi there and welcome back to 305 Tech. Today we're going to be um, unboxing and reviewing this. I'm not sure if you pronounce it INEO or INEO. So anyways, we'll call it this INEO M3 Active M.2 SSD cooler slash heatsink. So when we open it, this is what we get. It's a very interesting design. It's got some copper pipes as well as a small active um, cooler. In the box, we also get a guide. It brings a Velcro strap. I'm not sure for what, maybe for man doing some cable management on the cable itself. It does bring a small uh, Phillips screwdriver as well as a small set of um, screws and uh, two, um, what do you call this, um, thermal, thermal compound pads. I think that's what you call them nowadays. I'm not sure, they keep changing the name, but essentially to, yeah, it's um, two thermal compounds, two, help transfer the heat. The instructions are pretty straightforward. Essentially, we have to take this little plate off and cover the hard drive top and bottom with the thermal pads. Let's see what they call it. it does not say. Okay, let's move on. So we're going to be pairing this unit with a Samsung, two terabyte Samsung 970 EVO Plus. This is a great drive. Again, everything Samsung makes is just solid. And uh, before we go on, I'm going to link both units in the description down below with my Amazon Associates affiliate link. I do make a small commission if you decide to buy any of these products. So. I appreciate your support. It will hopefully help the channel grow a bit more. So thanks for doing that. And also don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. If you feel this content has um, helped you in some sort of way, or please pass it along to your friends. I really appreciate it. Okay. Let's begin by removing Samsung drive. As always, I'm going to be using my iFixit toolkit. Please look at the link down below to get one of these as well. If you need one, this is a great investment if you work on any type of computer or phone or electronic repair. Okay, so this one doesn't fit. Let's go find a smaller set. Okay, so we will use the smaller Phillips. This is a triple O. Okay, very nice. So there is copper running down.
I'm sure I'm doing this wrong and someone out there is going to leave me a comment about how stupid I am, but uh, <laughs> uh, anyways, this is how, there you go. These things are a pain in the butt to take out. There you go. That was much easier. Okay, now, I'm not sure if I did the orientation correctly, if I should have had this cable coming out of the other side, meaning turning this around. I don't really think it matters. The, the only thing that truly matters here is the orientation of the drive, whether the M.2 slot is like this or like this. And this is the slot that we're going to be using. So let's go ahead and... Um, remove the drive that came with this workstation. Now here's a quick um, pro tip. Whenever you're buying a, a, a workstation such as this from a, from a big manufacturer such as HP, Lenovo, I don't know, Dell, whomever, just know that one of the ways that they do um, increase their margins and their profit is when you upgrade the unit, the drive and the memory. So, you know, if, if you're ever low on budget or something like that, where you need to get the most value, I always recommend just get the smallest drive that the unit comes with and then go out on Amazon and purchase a drive of your own. You'd be surprised how many hundreds of dollars you can save this way depending on the size of the drive that you're upgrading. Okay, let me see if I can zoom in the camera a bit. So show you. Okay, there you go. It's a very tight squeeze in here. HP, I don't know what you were thinking about not allowing this cage to be removable. I don't know what I will do without these guys. There you go. That's the unit installed. So all we have to do now is uh, hook, up our, hook up our cable. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in and get this unit going. Thank you so much for watching guys. Again, please hit the like button and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. This is 305 Tech, signing out.